the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Twelve hundred meters race number six, dual fat fifteen thirty. This is the Hollywood Foundation Phillies and Mares ninety four handicap. Gross stake of 80,000, so they'll be looking to take home that first prize, the lion's share of 50,000 rand. In race number six, we do have an interview with Peter Musket and Mark Dixon. Let's hope they can be of some assistance. Uh, Sasha Away, she was narrowly beaten in her last start of 1,400 on the poly. We revert to the turf, 1,200, blinkers on, Richard Faree up. Uh, she should be one of the leading contenders. Wishful Girlin has her comeback run after a 112-day layoff. Uh, she has won all her starts over the poly. She does tend to run well fresh, and uh, she could pop up and, and be in the back end of quartets. Glad to hear the feedback from the respective yards. And number three, Sashay Away, who is currently at 15 to 10. Note number one, Vion's pa is the early scratching, so... There's a deduction if you went anti-post. Number three, Sashay Away is now trading at around 15 to 10. Number two, Meter the George is 5 to 2. Eight, Pelagonium is 9 to 2. Looking at race number six, a very interesting race because I'm going to put the field here. Number two, Meet at the George. Four of the six wins have been recorded on the turf. Looking at the course and distance, two runs for a win and a second, and two victories have been achieved at the track. Well drawn, Keegan de Mello, he knows her exceptionally well, so one of the leading lights will be number two, Meet at the George. She's won two of her last three runs, and she'll be looking to go in a way again. Number three, Sashay Away. You could say possibly the horse to beat. Very, very versatile. It has been 301 days since she last tasted victory. Last time she was beaten, a narrow margin by meet at the George. I envision the same type of finish. There won't be much to separate them. Number three, Sashay Away. A set of blinkers could help her cause over the 1,200. She has gone up to the 16 and the 1,700 meters in the past. Two wins on the turf, so both victories have been achieved on the turf and also at the course, having a course and distance victory and a second under the belt. We then go on to number six, Monashada. The drop and trip is a slight concern, but a horse who could be up there and might be able to get a blow in. Number seven, Vivid Jet, and number eight, Pelargonium, who's now dropped down to an 81 with just 53 and a half kilograms on the back. Number nine, Purple and Kanyezi. You can never leave out this six-year-old mare, the daughter of Oratorio. So race number six, I'm afraid I can't be too much assistance. Probably number three, Sashay Away, the horse that they have to beat. But for me, I'm going the field in all of my bets. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.